A forest ranger from the U.S. state of Texas made a very special discovery upon one of his wild cams. He suddenly saw an animal crawling that he had never seen before. When he found out what it was, he got the shock of his life. At first, Ranger Mark couldn't believe his eyes as he had never seen such a remarkable animal. It looked like a cross between a deer and a rodent, but it couldn't be. He went into the forest area but could not find any trace of the creature in question. After thorough research, he found out what kind of animal this was and this attracted much attention from fellow biologists. They were impressed by his remarkable find. He was soon invited to a conference in the Texas city of Houston, where he could explain exactly just what this animal was. Yesterday, Mark was a regular forest ranger who posted one of his wild cam videos on YouTube for fun. But now, he was standing before an audience of serious-looking men and women in Houston. It had been a whirlwind of events that he couldn't quite believe was happening, but he could tell that he had discovered something special. That was evident from the biologists who practically hung on his every word. He started by saying, It all happened yesterday morning when I was taking my daily walk. As he had stated before, Mark made a regular round through the forest every day. As a forest ranger, you need to have a watchful eye. Often trees were sick or young people had filled the forest with trash again. It was Mark's responsibility to clean this up, help the diseased trees, and report serious abuses to the police. But often it was quiet in the woods. He then had time to call his girlfriend or check out the footage from his wild cams. Here he could often see some cute animal activity. Sometimes he even posted a video on YouTube. He spends quite a bit of time with this. But who knows, one day he might become famous for one of his videos. A slim chance, he thought. But you never know. Then suddenly, he saw something flash by in the corner of his eye. It shot out of one of the bushes at a speed Mark had never seen before. The biologists also tried to explain the speed of the animal among themselves while watching a wild cam video over and over again. Mark grabbed his camera and tried to track the animal, but before he knew it, it was gone. We have to find the animal. This animal is a completely new species and must be studied, shouted one of the biologists in the room. Mark had apparently discovered a very special creature without realizing it. But how special this animal would become in the coming days, no one could have predicted. Mark and the group of biologists boarded a plane bound for his hometown and the special forest. Mark's life seemed to have accelerated in the blink of an eye. His quiet life making YouTube videos in the woods seemed to be a thing of the past along with calls to his girlfriend while enjoying a quiet walk in the woods. No, the whole forest was now full of people who were looking for this unique creature. Would they ever find him? Mark had guarded the forest for years, but this was the first time he'd ever spotted this new animal. But then, suddenly he heard a voice through his walkie-talkie. Hurry, everyone. Come to my location, I think I see him. The twenty or so biologists and Mark ran to the location of the given coordinates. When they got there, however, the animal had already disappeared. It had, however, left an important hint behind. It had rained that same night and the creature's paws left a distinct imprint in the mud. Now it was Mark's turn to spring into action. As a forest ranger, he was an experienced trail follower and could use his expertise here. Mark crouched in the sand and followed the trail this creature had made. It didn't take long for them to be successful. The footprints were so clearly visible that the animal could be overtaken in no time. But then, Mark saw something special. There are two extra rows of tracks here. They are smaller, but definitely from the same type of animal. The eyes of the biologists beamed as they followed closely behind Mark. After a careful search of about 15 minutes, they suddenly heard a bizarre noise. It was a cry that sounded completely unfamiliar to both Mark and the biologists. It had to be the never-before-heard sounds of an entirely new species of animal. How exciting! Mark heard one biologist whisper. Mark crouched next to a fallen tree and pointed to a well-dug cave a short distance away. That must be the place where the animal lives. He looked wide-eyed at the hole and suddenly they saw movement. Sure enough, there was the animal. It was about the size of a beaver, but had the appearance of a very small deer. The biologists present were already discussing possible names for this new species. Mark then heard something that shocked him greatly. He overheard the following conversation. 
When we take the animal back to the lab and run tests on her, then we'll know so much more. We need to get her back to Houston as soon as possible. Mark did not agree with what he had just heard. Taking an innocent and unsuspecting animal from its natural habitat went completely against his principles. He had to put a stop to this now. Fortunately, just then the animal ran back into its burrow when it heard a twig snap under one of the biologist's boots. This was all the time it took Mark to come up with a plan. He was the only one who could follow tracks, so this gave him a huge advantage. He said that this burrow could lead anywhere and told the biologists to spread their search area in order to, supposedly, be able to find the animal again more quickly. When Mark was alone, he quickly called his girlfriend, ring, ring, ring. The phone rang and his girlfriend, Amber, answered, Honey, you have to come to the woods now. To the place where we had our first kiss, next to the fallen tree. There is an innocent animal here and nasty people are trying to capture him. I will try to distract them, but we have to get her out of here. Amber didn't ask any questions. They had rescued wild animals from hunters before so she knew what to do. She parked her car as quietly as possible at the edge of the woods and took the travel cages out of the trunk. She had to be quiet because the searching biologists must not discover her. Amber was about 50 yards from the den where the mother and her babies were and Mark kept watch. It was a tense situation and so much could go wrong. Just as she was almost there, one of the biologists appeared out of nowhere. He wanted to ask Mark if he'd seen anything, for no one had had any success yet. Mark pretended his nose was bleeding, but he knew something had to be done quickly or Amber would be discovered. Or worse, they'd find out he'd been misdirecting them and then be able to find the innocent animal. Just then, a bizarre rescue came from an unexpected source. A huge bear appeared behind one of the trees and the biologists didn't know how they could escape. Mark knew this gentle grizzly bear, but the biologists didn't need to know that. The biologists safely got away and Mark ran with them too. However, as he stepped away from the den, he looked over his shoulder and saw Amber place the animal and its babies in the travel case. The mission was successful. Now there was only one thing left. Mark stopped the search when it got dark and told the biologists to go home. They searched the entire forest for weeks without Mark, but there was no sign of this special creature again. Naturally, this was because Amber and Mark had safely housed her and her babies in a secret piece of forest on their private property. The animal has been living here with her babies for a few years now without being disturbed. She occasionally appears on one of Mark's wild cams. But this time, he keeps those images to himself. Animals don't belong in a lab, but in nature. And that will be the fate of this cute animal.